is detected in here as long as we can. We can go over this uncovering here because this is, yeah, this video here and the information he got from this man here is like, man, we don't have a country. Jason Beck, Associate Director, Total Force Requirements and Sourcing Policy, says the country needs open borders. You know, just lots of that talk about like border security, you know, border security, what does that even mean? It doesn't mean anything. It's just like throwing money and people at a problem that doesn't really exist. When has a terrorist ever come in? I would like to do some work on the state's monopoly on violence. State's monopoly, what is that? It, it's the idea that the, the state, meaning the country, is the only sort of legitimate purveyor of uh, violence and force of force. We're the only ones with guns, right? Jason Beck, Associate Director, Total Force Requirements and Sourcing Policy from the Office of the Secretary of Defense, describes it as, quote, we, the government, are the only ones with guns. I think we should repeal it. And take them all away. Whatever, just take them all. He think he, we should, the government should take all our guns and the government, the government, the only one should have guns. Remember, guys, this guy works in our government. Clarence, top secret clearance, whatever. He raised his right hand to square an oath to the Constitution of the United States. And he thinks the Second Amendment should be just gone. What the hell are we doing? So what would be like a federal solution? But I wonder if you would see a similar solution to like school integration. Yeah. You know, where they did have to move, you know, mobilize the National Guard. How many people in the National Guard, you know, maybe were personally opposed to integration, but still followed orders and made it happen? Hopefully they would have to follow the orders. Right. I don't know how that's going to happen. We need a pack of orders. Jason Beck says you have to pack. The Supreme Court. You have all the power to <laughs> solve the world issues. Court reform, you need to get a majority on the court so that they can stop the legislation. He told us he writes the answers for high level officials at congressional posture hearings. Oh, you actually write the, the answers for the for the uh, conventional questions and stuff? Yeah. When we're talking about posture hearings, it's usually very high level. Universal health care, we could start there. Uh, abolishing the Senate. Gosh, there's so many things that you could do. I do have the classified stuff, but that I can't shop about. Mm. Oh, you're turning me on already. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> we ate you dinner, some rose petals here. I'm a little bit romantic, so. Why do all these son of a guns like this? Why this Biden administration, every last one of these sorry, weak, sore born son of a buns gotta go? High ranking official in the government, work for the Pentagon, Secretary of Defense, they all rainbow can be. Every last one of these, sorry, mm, want to get rid of the Senate, get rid of the Constitution, get, take all our guns, bring all the legals in, weak ass soil, man, gave, oh my God, why are they all like this? Why? Why are these socialist communists infiltrated in our government? Who are hiring these son of a gun? Who are getting these guys? access clearances and stuff who oh yeah joe biden it's we got them the democrats guys the democrat party even the republican party we don't have a country no more we are not a constitutional republic anymore we are just not that full falls looking down like we gave we gave y'all something great and y'all let it go to shit being too fat, too lazy, and too stupid to do when necessary to keep the freedom of liberty that was granted to us by God. We give it up because we get some weak ass sauce, son of a weak ass mother sucker like this, feminine ass women that that just want to take in charge, won't be mad, destroy everything. She can't get away. And this is where we at. The country's done. I'm trying to speak out and open some people's eyes. And we got people like this in our government. Joe Biden in our government. Kamara Harris in our government. 
people like this behind the scenes got work with high class information to make decisions, can do a lot of stuff in our government, all throughout our government, federal employees. Share this video, like, give me a thumbs up, guys, because this is crazy. <laughs> Do you mind untying it for me? Man, you never got to do it. Cheers. 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 So, you've heard of this guy. Um, what's his name? James O'Keefe? Or James O'Keefe? Yeah, I think so. He was, he was the one who, like, he would, like, go undercover and like try to trick Democrats into saying stuff. Um, he's a terrible person. <laughs> he's a terrible person. Jason Beck, Associate Director, Total Force Requirements and Sourcing Policy, Office of the Secretary of Defense in the Pentagon, articulates his extreme policy views, including confiscating all guns, abolishing the Senate, Mm. Tearing down the border wall, Whoa. opening the border, border, removing the electoral college, mm. and establishing a state monopoly on violence. Universal health care, we could start there. Um, repealing the Second Amendment for sure. Uh, abolishing the Senate. Yeah. Um, gosh, there's so many things that you could do. Uh, he also talks about Eric Prince. Eric Prince, former Navy SEAL, founded a company called Blackwater, known as a PMC, a private military contractor. In our few meetings with Jason Beck, who uses a fake name, Aiden Gray, he speaks about private contracts from the Pentagon. And Jason talks about his role in establishing the scope of those contracts. Eric Prince, he, he was the leader of Blackwater. Um, they rebranded after the scandal. He's actually Betsy DeVos's brother. Wow. He's terrible and he's worse. He's like one of my least favorite people in the world. Who? This guy, the Eric Prince. This he's your least favorite person. Wow. Well, one of them. He just he really grinds my ear. You know, because it's just, it's such an immoral thing to do. And he's just out there doing it and making so much money, and there's no accountability for any of the bad things that they've done. Because he, he runs companies of mercenaries, and they go out and they do bad things. You wow. know, and, and he's very pro. Well, he's very pro mercenary, right? He's, why wouldn't he be? That's yeah. what he does. Um, so, what are you doing to prevent this from happening again? Um, I mean, I'm trying to get policies in place that make it more difficult to use them and uh, establish standards um, in compliance with international standards um, about like the type of companies that can do this and like the certifications that they have to have in order to be considered, you know, like on the up and up. That's really nice. We've reached out to Eric Prince for comment. I'll be sitting down with him to discuss all of this soon. But speaking of Eric Prince, let me tell you something about Eric Prince. He knows a lot about cybersecurity surveillance, and he's developed a new smartphone called Unplugged because we're doing investigations into the White House, the IRS, and now the Secretary of Defense, Pentagon personnel. I'm personally very concerned about how every move and communication of my journalism team is being tracked by our phones. The people who support us, millions of you, are rightfully concerned and worried about being tracked and having your private information compromised. I mean, guys, this is crazy, man. I don't even know what to say anymore about everything that we are uncovering, everything that's come to light, Joe Biden crimes to how corrupt our government officials, politicians are. What's what? At the end of the day, what are we doing about it? What can we truly do to make so justice justice is served? Team might we can learn everything. Estreen Island, fucking a client list. We can know about Joe Biden crimes, Obama crimes, all the Democrats doing crimes and going against the Constitution, going against the people. It's basically screwing our lives, screwing our country. 
end of the day, what are we doing about it? What are we doing about it? What can we do about it? Can the Constitution say a clear week that the government not performing or serving the people? We need to install a new government. Get rid of everybody not doing their job and get people that will. It, it clearly say that you have we have the right as the people, but it seems like nobody wants to do anything. Everybody, people seem like they don't care, just want to be entertained. And when they do care, seem like when the normies, NBC player, non playable characters finally wake up and realize, whoa, what's going on here? It seems like it's always too late. Hmm. One of the things I know for sure is that with the smartphone you are likely using, you are being listened to and tracked 24-7. They can see our texts. They can see our emails. They know where we go, who we call, which apps we use, and what we buy and what we browse. And by having an ad ID running on your phone, the apps you're using are constantly gathering and storing your personal information and using it to monitor you and to monetize our data. We thought our phone is the mm -hmm. plugged. Unplanned encrypted, so I'm at your privacy and get your very yes. meet Jason Beck, Associate Director, Total Force Requirements and Sourcing Policy Office of the Secretary of Defense. Even though he's a low level official, he told us he it's, it's a whole lot of you know, it's, it's testimony, it's, oh, okay. it's questions, you know. From Do you have to go? No, no, but I help you know prepare so oh you actually write the the answers for the for the uh congressional questions and stuff yeah do you get to write them for like all uh, the people at the top um when we're talking about posture hearings it's usually very high level oh. so like secretary of defense or under secretary of defense and it'll be on a wide range of topics jason beck tells us the division he works inside the department of defense personnel and readiness handles diversity equity and inclusion matters since we are personnel and readiness yeah yeah oh god dei dei oh my god diversity 